Hi, I'm Nick Holly with S5. Today we're going to be showing you the brand new Gripper Fix Rail system. The Gripper Fix Rail is a utility mount system. It can be used to mount satellite dish kits, HVAC units, or any other ancillary. Here we have the Gripper Fix Rails. You can see they have slots along the side which are used for sliding tabs into to connect to either clamps or exposed fasten roofing. The rail also has a channel down the center which is used for mounting your utility directly too. The first step is going to be to install our first two clamps. Now that we've mounted our S5S mini clamps onto the roof and checked the torque to be within the proper range for a 24 gauge roof, we're going to start assembling the tabs into the rail. The tabs are slid into the end of the rail and we need two tabs for this mounting system on each side of the rail. Today we're going to be mounting a satellite dish kit. So I've slid the tabs in so that they're close to the top side of the rail and I'm going to go ahead and place it just above the roof atop the clamps. We're going to space our tabs so that they line up with the bolt holes on the clamps. And now we will mount the tabs to the clamps. At this point, we're just going to hand tighten them. We want to leave them a little loose so that we can adjust the rail as we're going. Now that we've mounted our downslope rail, we're going to measure from that rail to where we need to mount the next set of clamps. In this case, we're mounting a satellite dish and it needs to be spaced eight and a half to nine inches above the first rail. We've mounted the second set of S5S mini clamps. Now we're going to prepare the second rail again by sliding tabs into the slot on the side of the rail. We'll be mounting the second rail just below the clamps like this. In this case also we're using four clamps. This is a universal utility system and you can use as many tabs or clamps as needed for your application. We'll be using four today to mount this satellite kit. Now I'm going to attach the second rail with the M8 bolts provided with the clamps. Again we're going to leave these hand tight at this point so that we can adjust them as necessary to mount our satellite kit. Okay I've got my two rails mounted now at this point, we're going to slide our M8-1.25 by 16 millimeter bolts that we purchased separately into the top slot of the gripper fix rail. These are going to be used to mount to the base of the satellite kit. You can see the bolts easily slide in the rail and can be placed where they're needed to mount whatever utility system you're mounting. Now I'm going to go ahead and place the base of the satellite kit atop the M8 bolts. As you can see there, it was very easy and quick to place our utility mount atop the rails. Now we're going to use our M8 nuts atop the M8 bolts to tighten the system down. Now I'm going to use my 13 millimeter or half inch socket to tighten the nuts atop the bolts. The M8 nuts should be torqued to 180 inch pounds. At this point we're going to finish tightening the M8 bolts atop the clamps which should also be tightened to 180 inch pounds. Now we've mounted and torqued all bolts on the system. We can go ahead and complete building the satellite dish. Now we've mounted the remainder of the satellite dish kit the right way to the gripper fix rail. The gripper fix rail can be found at www.s-5.com. Thanks for watching.